Good afternoon everybody, it's Denise here, Denise Junk Journals UK. Thank you so much for joining me, it is really lovely to have you here. It is Sunday afternoon and it is a bit grey and a bit, little bit dark, a little bit cool um, here in the UK. We have had our clocks go back last night so we are, um, yeah, some of us <laughs> still coming to terms with the hours, the hours difference in the time but um, that's not the real reason I'm late filming today, I'm a little bit late. It's because I've been chatting with Tanya on video <laughs> and she said you can say that it was my fault when you film. So I am. <laughs> um, I'm not really that late actually. Usually I, I film around around lunchtime when it's when it's a Sunday and I have a lay in. So yeah, scrappy Sunday. So here's the second scrap box. <laughs> yeah, you know I've got another one full of scraps. This has got more in it than it had in it yesterday because I've been working on my lap book which I'm making off camera following uh, Tanya at Tad's Treasure, uh, my first ever lap book. So I'll show you it when it's done. I'm making it for me and um, yeah, I'm making it in Tim Holtz. So we're starting to get some Tim Holtz scraps added to, to the box. So we'll be playing with those. Um, and all I've brought along today, I don't want to do any collage today. Um, I will send to Tanya. I now have so many collage pages that I really need to move them on before I create any more. So yeah, quite a few of them have now been, um, you know, sealed with Mod Podge or the Distress Medium and are now waiting for the next stage. <coughs> so you'll see those someday soon, I would think. I've got a couple of pieces of um, craft card and a triangle there, I think, haven't I? Yeah, left over from the lap book that I've been working on. I've got an envelope that for some reason was in my scrap box. I've got this which I started making out of some old cards um, that I had to use the old card up and I made this one and this one on film only I didn't because we weren't filming uh, last week actually so <laughs> I uh, yeah and this one was prepped ready so it just needs trimming round and then um, we can we can embellish that it's it's ready for some embellishment and then to go so I might do this one as a the other way up at all tag shape I guess journal card it's a big one so it will only go in one of the bigger journals but yeah I have got some some bigger journals on the way as well as some smaller ones so yeah, that's that's got me got rid of that so I have been crafting a little bit this morning like I say I've been working on my lap book I've done an awful lot of fussy cutting as well um so yeah it's time it's time we got on with these scraps Yep, so these are all like bases if you like. So these are some other one of those somewhere, wasn't there? I'm sure there was a butterflies on it. I'm sure I've just seen it somewhere as well. Well, would you believe it? It'll turn up no doubt. So this is just a piece of scrapbooking paper from the last um is that it there? I think that's it. Yeah. Uh journal of, of Nanine's uh, journal kit that I did which I think was Garden Gate, I think. Anyway, anyway, I thought um, I could just back those on some papers out of here. They would make nice tags for journal cards. So there's three ready to go. The envelope and the cards you've seen. And then these are the last two um, time cards from Carol in America. Yep, so we'll, we'll do something with those as well. Um, like I say, I made a, a tall, uh, thin tag, which I thought would go in one of my tall, thin journals. Um, might make one more of those and then perhaps cut the other one in half and do two two smaller ones we'll see so as always i've got a lot to do and chances are i won't get through all of it but um we will try right shall i get the ink down i thought i had it down i have and we'll just give that a bit of a now i've trimmed it a bit of an ink round So the, the days are starting to get brighter at the end um, of the day now, stay lighter longer, I should say. So that, that um, change in the hour makes that even more so. So it will be, is that the right way up? Yeah, it will be brighter, lighter, longer on an evening now. That came from Doreen and I did put that butterfly without the other bit of it that she'd... Um, I got it in some happy mail that she'd put the, the glittery bits on, on there. Um, now I could have put that on. Oh, there's glittery bits on there, look. But that might be nice on something else. So I'll hang hang fire and see. Oh, I've got a nice rib 
rub on that would be nice wouldn't it do I want it black and white then right I'm supposed to go in that way were you telling me <laughs> the thing is the music isn't going that way is it I don't like it up, upside down no let's do it this way because I quite liked that, that pop of blue there and I just really want something here but I don't know what what is that no perhaps one of those nice big um nice nice pink piece there what do we think to that that's just an off course it got I thought it had something printed on it no not that I'm thinking a label yeah just so we've got the three completely different shapes going on there haven't we quite like that one it's a nice tiny piece of Tim Holtz now I think I like those let's go with that oh well, I've got this beautiful bird haven't I shall we put him on I think he doesn't really go with that we'll put him on something he's been out a couple of days hasn't he do I want an octagonal one on there? No, I like that one. Okay, let's stick those on and, and get started because getting started is always the, the hardest bit for me, isn't it? I think this is a washi sticker. I'll try it with my nails first and then if it doesn't come off, I'll use the sellotape. I thought I had it then. Oh, I think I did look. There we go. Yeah, it's a big washi sticker. Lovely. I'm really into my washi stickers at the moment. So we'll go right right at the bottom there. And I'm not, not putting any extra glue on it. I think it'll be fine. Um, yeah, I could do with a... Got it out somewhere. There it is. That's what I could do with a phone folder. <laughs> Just to save my fingers a little bit and to get it nice and smooth no air bubbles in it yeah love that love the tone on tone of that but i do love this this lovely blue label as well which i know is from one of nanine's kits <laughs> i don't know which one looks like it could be from the uh, denim what's the denim faded denim one because it's got all those lovely blues in it but might it might not be it could just be a lovely blue label from one of the other kits ew we've got a bit gloopy come out A bit like a postcard really isn't it with that up there and so yeah it is quite a big piece isn't it for uh, uh i have got one big big journal possibly two that's going to happen so it, i think that's the only the only journal i can think of that it will go in i'm going to go right in this corner yeah, and I might, when I use it, depending on the colours, I might have a flower or something, some greenery coming up there. But for now, I'm just going to leave it as a base. I've pulled everything over these bases now, haven't I? So, let me get me, that's it, pinning. Right, these two are just back in, so I lost it again. <laughs> I just back them and leave them to I have lots leave them to dry and then we can put something on them towards the end so I need some glue paper which I was sure I had help somewhere um don't know what I've done with it I'll get another one out it's bound to turn up then oh in things about yeah so I'm thinking I've got some bigger pieces in here that we can just um, completely cover not the Tim Holtz I want to make make pieces of ephemera with that that might be nice on one yeah that'd be nice on there that was quick wasn't it so what do we want on the back of this one 
I think that green is nice. Mm, so that's a possibility. Let's just see if there's something that grabs me more. Probably not. They're not quite big enough. No, I think the others are all too small, so we'll go with we'll go with those two. So this one. Oh, not much on that one, is it? So this is my uh, coffee dyed colouring paper. Just looking for my glue stick. There we go. Um, yeah, my Kath Kidston colouring book, and I've just coffee dyed it and used it as coffee dyed paper, and I'm really enjoying using it actually. So when it's all gone, I mean there's a fair bit of it, when it's all gone I might consider using another colouring book, a patterned colouring book as opposed to images for the same thing. That's nice and gloopy. So I believe this was a page that I printed, you know, both sides and one side was upside down. I think that's why I didn't use it as a journal page. So it ended up in the scrap box. And on there just the cloth's a bit gruesome, but it's it's all right. It's not sticky. It's just um, a dye. It's got dye on it. Distress ink. That's what I was trying to say. It's got distress ink on it. Oops. So yeah, that will curl as it dries a little bit. So we'll let that dry before we do anything else with it. But that you know, either side could be the wrap the right inside and then we'll decorate uh, the other and this one might be the same I don't know which one's going to be the because you could write over that if you wanted to blue page so what are you guys all up to today I uh, had a good night's sleep but I was awake at uh, four I think it was and yes yeah, Simba Simba came over and said yes so am I let's get up <laughs> again but I'm guessing I hadn't realized it at the time but that would have been five o'clock really wouldn't it for you know to him who has no concept of clocks so yeah that wasn't quite so early as last time but I did literally because I was tired from getting up with him yesterday <laughs> did really literally get up give him a few cat biscuits waited while he went out 10 minutes <laughs> oops oh Denise and then and then came back to bed and went straight back to sleep and snored Neil said um, but the cat went back to sleep as well so <laughs> I'll just put that excess off don't lose that in there Denise Bish. okay so I did start out this morning with my desk really tidy it is now very 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 messy Right, what should we do with this envelope? Let's do something with the envelope. Shall we make it ready to go in a signature or shall we make it an actual envelope to put in a pocket? I think I'll make it to go in a signature because, like I say, I've got some big journals coming up soon. I've also got some small ones, so yeah, it'll go in a signature there. And the reason I've got so many journals coming up is because I'm covering a lot of my, I think I told you before, a lot of my hardback book covers that I've had sitting around for ages I'm starting to slowly cover them in material and uh, yeah then we'll we'll put papers in and use them so I'm going to put it and put it in that way <laughs> that was a big decision wasn't it so what shall we have on it now oh just too big I think just We'll live to fight another day. So what about... No. So I've still got this little pile of things from uh, yesterday's video here on my desk. So it would be nice to yeah, use use some of them up. That's a lovely big label, isn't it? That's from, that's from Nanine. A bit like an Easter egg. Oh, I like that. It, it kind of gives it an, uh, a look of a, um, a frame. But it's not yeah i really like that on there i think i think i might put that on and just a label on it what am i looking for ink on the front and call the front done it is a lovely envelope it's um textured really nice paper um 
yeah, I don't know what I'd call it, but it's a very nice looking envelope. So we don't need to, you know, mat it and cover cover it all up because it's beautiful in its own right, as we all are. <laughs> Oops. So this is Neil's third day at work out of four. So he's at work again tomorrow and then he's got four days off. Right, what have we got? All oh, right, I've got a few of these. Can I just put, move the fussy cutting in because I haven't put it away, look, <laughs> that I've got here. So there are, I wasn't going to show you today, but um, there's a couple of sheets of um, freebie labels that um, Tanya is going to have in April on her, I presume they'll be on her Facebook, but I'd, um, they could be on Buy Me A Coffee or there could be one on each. Um, anyway. Of, of labels and I've printed them out I've only got the tiny ones here because the others I've done and put away I've got some bigger ones in this I've printed them out in different coloured papers look that's what I've been doing so these are I printed them all on cream as Tanya always does and they're really nice the big ones I've not got here and then I had some of about eight or nine of these um, Amazon pages left do you, do you remember the Amazon we kind of called it faux coffee stain but it's not coffee stained I don't know what it is just sort of different brown colours I printed them out on there and they look gorgeous lovely lovely lush so then i printed other things so i've got a, a few bits by tina at shabby dabby doo down one of her um kits which was these uh, street names and then another one which is the clocks are from so die cuts and tickets i think it's called yeah so i've got all those lovely luscious things there all that to say i might put one of those on here <laughs> which is why i suddenly said i got to show you um let's have a look what we've got just want a small well fairly big i just want a small one don't think there is one i've only done them in the one size at the moment no they're all quite big uh, tanya's labels uh, mm. Not Tanya's labels. Tina's word. Oh, can't speak. What are they? They're not words. That's quite nice over there, actually. Street names. Goodness me. My brain. I have just had a nice milky cup of coffee. Maybe it's maybe it's put my brain to sleep. Uh, street names, Denise. They're street names, yeah. Yeah, so that's actually quite nice over there, isn't it? And then I wondered about one of Tanya's labels, which is what what brought me to this up near the top. So they've, they've got like a green outline on them. You, you can't have them till April, I don't think, but <laughs> look out for them. So she's got blank ones, but I don't want a blank one. I want one with something on it. Just bear with me shuffling constantly. I will be with you in a minute. Oh, floral, that's nice. It's kind of floral, but not very floral, is it? What else have we got? Botanicals, that's nice. Could do with that one smaller. The size of this is what I'm looking for, but not necessarily florals. I've got one here with a date look, that's nice. Let me just try a little bit of black. It's got a very faint green round it because it's on the brown paper, but I'm thinking black might just make it pop out a little bit more on there. So I think that one, but just let me have a look at others. No, I don't want a blank one. Specimen ID. No, I like that date one. Let's go with it. Why am I looking for something else? So I can only do the front of this, or I'm only going to do the front of this because I need to wait and see what, how I'm going to put it into the journal to see what happens in the back. Again, a nice bright sticker or something up there might, might be nice. Where did I put the other piece? There. But I am kind of making part finished, not completely finished bases. Um, back you go oh, so we've got two done two drying so let's do one of these and um, i'm going to do one in half exactly in half and do two smaller ones with it and 
where has that gone again? Leave some of the the printing on the card. No, you're just too fat for that. So I'll just cut it either side with the scissors. So I don't have that ridge where I bent it, that's it. Now I'm just wondering if I might, yeah, let's make a tiny pocket out of this one. I keep losing that. I need a bright colour on it. So I'm going to corner those edges, round those corners, <laughs> corner the edges. Give it a little bit of something and then ink. And it's only a low pocket, so I'm not going to put a, a divot in it. I really ought to make a, a tag to go in it, didn't I? So that when it goes into stash, it's going into the tag pocket and tags. Um, pack it. I just want a small sort of tab look to it there. You're not stuck down. Don't be like that. You're out of glitter. That way. I've got my grubby hands from the ink or nails, I should say. Time I painted them again. Yeah, so it's a it's a pocket that's going to look like a tag. Right, what shall we have on there? Just spotted that. Look at that. If that's not a perfect size, I don't know what is. It's not cut out very straight at the bottom. I wonder how that could have happened. I jest. That's better. Okay, so we've got a bit of a birdie theme there, haven't we? So what can we have on, on the back? Shall we have a just a label? That's way too big. Or shall we carry on with the bird theme and have a put this down first? Was it the blue bird? I forget now I've turned it over. Yep, it's blue. So we've got green on the actual stamping you know the wording and the lines we've got the blue from the bird and we've got grey so like I say I want to uh, see if I can find me my labels my stickers I want to um what's the word I want to be able to see. <laughs> I want to celebrate. That's it. That's what I was looking for. Um, some of that. I've got any uh, stickers there, have I now? Um, where have I put all my stickers? There's a massive pouch of them somewhere. I'll just stop now. Well, I can't find them anywhere, but as soon as I uh, I started digging, I did find some that I hadn't put away. Surprise, surprise. You see, so sometimes it pays. I've not got a big choice, but that's it. <laughs> sometimes it pays not to be tidy. Now, because I've got blue there, I really only want to go with the green, I think, because I don't want that great big red one. But these are nice washes. Yeah, just across there is nice. Don't think I want to. No, just that one across there. And then, um, yeah, again, it's a part finished one, so it might have a word or a label added to it. I'm not going to be so lucky with this one, am I? Get some sellotape on it, I think. Just pull it a bit closer to my face. You're always working with your arms stretched out when you're filming and it's all right until you start getting older and um, your eyes. <laughs> Your eyes are not as good far away as they are close up. Thought I had it then. Just teasing me. Let's do it the easy way. Should have done it straight away, Denise. 
Never mind, it's Sunday. We're not going to stress, are we? Oops. So yeah, my uh, my scrap boxes are growing. I think I said to you yesterday that I would be doing some proppy, proppy, proper scrappy uh, makes today. But well, I suppose these are scrappy makes. But I do want to move these um, bases on. So I might, if I've got time at the end, I might make something just with uh, scrap box ephemera. Yeah, that would be nice now with a little um, tiny, teeny tiny green label. Have I got one? If I haven't got one here, I'm not going searching. No, I don't think I have not green. Oh, mm -hmm. now these are the ones that I was telling you about from Tanya. Look at all those. See, those are the ones printed on the cream paper. Gorgeous, aren't they? So I printed them in normal size and small size. It's why I see these little ones here. They're four to a page. And then you can see, I'll just grab them, the difference of them printed on. Can't picked everything up, everything up but what I want to show you now. Yeah, that's the difference of them printed on that Amazon brown, brown coloured paper. Oops. Lovely, aren't they? Okay, stop showing off, Denise. And um, no. Put a brown one, that tiny might be nice. Have we got one? Huh. So all the tiny ones are in the cream. Ah, you're small. Mm, but you don't say anything on you, and I'd like you even smaller still. It's going to be one of those days. Now, nine times out of ten, I always find what I'm looking for, don't I? But I think today's going to be one of those days where... That's nice. Third Cerimus, it looks like it says. A wildflower. 16th century something flora. I like that. It looks like it's part of the actual um, the background there. But it's the pay thing, so it can't, oh, can't be put it there where it says number okay lovely well, that's the other half okay so we're going to make this one into an actual tag not a pocket tag and I think it's it but I'm going to take these off again oops I nearly cut through that not quite And then this time I'm just going to layer up some embellishments on it and still leave some of it on show. The back is fine for journaling, it's just lovely, really lovely coloured card. Oopsie. I'm loving this yellow flower that I uh, found on a book page and harvested, if that's the right word. All right, a clock on a clock card would be good wouldn't it yeah quite like that um let's have a look at these little ticket labels not green i've got lots of green what about a typewriter no too small right let's move all that out of the way and stop spreading it everywhere Quite like that. It's curved the wrong way. If it could be that side. Hmm, quite like that. Let's put that down. Okay. So I don't know what I'm going to do this afternoon. Uh, Tanya asked me that. What's my plan for this afternoon? I really don't know. I've got so many things I could be doing. No, I've got the that book and uh, the journals that I was telling you about. But I think once I've finished this, I've probably sat at my desk too long. So I need to do something. Well, I'll go and because I haven't done my, I haven't done my chores yet. I haven't done my uh, dishwasher and the. I have got the I've got the laundry out because it was a bit blowy first thing. 
probably go bring that in and do the dishwasher maybe just a little bit of tidying around downstairs and then I have got I've got my crocheted blanket out that I got out a couple of days ago might do a couple of rows of that while I'm watching a bit of something on the TV um, just because I think Buster will Buster Buster was my friend's cat I don't know every now and then I call Simba Buster um, yeah he'll be looking for somebody to come and sit down and fuss him for a bit I feel bad if I'm in here all day and uh, I don't don't give him any fuss because he um, you know he, he loves he loves human interaction and some words there yeah no point in getting a cat if you're going to ignore it all the time is there I don't know why these words were in there, they were in completely the wrong place, weren't they? And they're kind of the style I want, but there's nothing timeless would be funny on a time card, wouldn't it? Nothing there I want particularly. What have we got in green? Sticking to the green, aren't I? doesn't want to come out. Hmm. Well there's a green one. Determined. Courageous. Oh that's nice. That's got the green and the blue on it. It says Grace. Yeah I like that one I think. Let's go with that one. And put these back where they belong with words and not with... No, I don't think it goes up there. I think it wants to go down here. So I'm going to just... Um, Snip the corners and make it lozenge shaped. That's better. Make it a bit smaller, that's it. That's a quick one as well, wasn't it? Am I back to my normal quick self? Because I haven't been for a few days. I'm just looking at that lovely lamppost that's sat there in front of me and this tall journal card here. Oops. Is that upside down? It is. So obviously it doesn't want to be that tall but so let's cut it off there. And we can make a small small journal card with what's left. Or a pocket. Look at that. Talk about not cutting in a straight line. <laughs> That's better. Right, don't do that till you've done this to it. It's a big piece, so we'll have a bigger, a bigger corner. Oh, what's it called? Lack of a corner. I don't know what that's called. A bigger shape. That's it. Lovely leaf, Carol. I love the, the colour of them when they're um, inked up. They're beautiful. The green and the cream and the... Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing with it. I just really loved that when it was sat on there. So it's got to go. Shall we have some paper? Let's have some paper on it from the scrap box. It is scrappy. Sunday scraps on Sunday after all is that too much let's have something a bit a different tone or a different colour entirely so this is the it's from my Tim Holtz 8x8 eight eight pad right. doesn't matter which way I tear it I'm going to have that white bit but it's going to be brown in a minute so that doesn't bother me rid of that oh way too big way too big so I'll have that higher up I still want this smaller sorry 
messing you about but I don't want it um, you know in relation to the lamppost I don't want it to overpower it too much because it's quite a strong strong pattern and a strong colour yeah that's better okay so we're going to have that floating up there a bit it's called floating fire floating fire engines it says up there I don't know what that means um, this keeps showing its face and I quite like it I'll have to use that soon perhaps a plain label let me flip back over there that's not plain no it's too big as well dark but plain that's nice like that okay let me put some things down because I can't hold them down can't hold them all <laughs> in place and see what I'm doing right I didn't restart my clock so what did I oh, I might have done I really don't know how long I've been crafting now That's not good planning, is it? Okay. I don't want it to take too long to upload this one because I am rather late with it, actually. So I've not moved any of the clocks in the house. That's Neil's job. The only clocks that have altered are the clocks on the phones, which alter automatically. So I was downstairs earlier and having a cup of tea thinking, Oh, it's not as late as I thought it was. And then I came back upstairs again to... Oh, it is. <laughs> it is as dark as, you, as late as you thought it was. Because there's a an hour's difference. Yeah, I'm thinking I want something off there. Do I want a label or do I want an image? I don't want one of those. I don't want floral. I don't think it wants a bird either. Yeah, I think I might have another label. A date. What about a date? I just like it touching that. I'm just going to do it for no other reason than I like it. 15th of April 1962. I wonder if that's somebody's birthday. Yep, yeah, okay. And oh, we've got these, haven't we? Let's, let's trim these now and see. Still feels a bit damp actually, that. Did I put a lot of glue on it? I would have expected it to have dried by now. Get off. No, too close. In a bit more. Oh, not close enough, I should say. Better. Did I get it? I think I did. Yeah, still bending, so it's still wet. How straight is that? So hard to tell. It's just that I want to put my corner rounder on the top of it, so it just changes the look of something entirely. When you change the shape of the corners, there we go, that's nice, isn't it? So we'll have the back bit for journaling on and we'll just have a bit of something now these roses are are appealing to me on these no maybe not have I got some more roses I know there's no lid on that oh we've got this chappy let's see what he's like I don't think he'll I think he'll be too big he's definitely too big well maybe not let's just he's got a big white blob on his beak that he really doesn't need what sort of a bird is he? I have no idea. Answers on a postcard. He's a pretty bird. He's quite majestic, isn't he? Colourful. When I say pretty, I mean he's very colourful. I don't even know where he's come from. Yeah, he's out of a bird book, so he's a real bird. He's not a made-up artist's version of. Let's take a bit more white off him. 
Yes, I'll mind your knobbly knees, don't worry. <laughs> yeah, I think I quite like him with that swirl above. The next question is, am I going to trim between his legs? If you pardon the expression. Am I going to take this bit out? Oh dear. That, that's it, Denise. Stick the finger, the scissors through your finger. That would be clever. Not. I stuck a needle in it. Did I tell you I stuck a pin in it the other day? And it didn't bleed. <laughs> didn't bleed at all, which shocked me because when I had my blood taken, it bled a lot. I mean, they're really good at getting in tight spaces, these scissors, but they don't really want to go in here. I hope I haven't messed it up. I think it's just the shiny type of paper it's on. It's not, it's not bending like ordinary matte type paper does. Or cutting like matte type paper does. Patience. That's all I need, a bit of patience. I'm nearly there. better isn't it yeah it's always better if you can get the, the middle bit out if you've got a nice um, background to show through you know, it properly makes it look like it's okay so he needs to be on something now he could be on a, a tape measure no it could be on a, yeah it could be on a road sign let's move the scissors out of the way Oh, oh, that's nice. North Western Boundary. Now, I think that's to do with the um, the kit that we've just uh, been using, or are still using. Um, what's it called? I like that because it's, it's thinner and longer. Um, Bluebell Woods. Yeah, so it's a, a like a forest and woods and park walk kind of kit with lots of lovely bluebells to put amongst the trees and things. Tower Street. Yeah, you can only go in one. Do you fit? Just take a bit more white off his tail because where I had him then he wasn't fitting. I wonder if I had him at a different angle. Yeah, if, it, if I tip you back a little bit, but I don't want you tipped back. Oh no, it fits fine now. I don't know what I was doing. Put it down while it fits. <laughs> Before he changes shape again. Whoops, there we go. So Neil's um, texted me this morning. He's been to a farm with some of the young people that he works with to watch some lambs being born what a nice job he's got today something else he said as well i don't think it was cows being milked but something like that anyway anyway he's definitely seen some lambs being born what a lovely thing to see um yeah and i want a plain label at the top again no, i think i want cream this time so let's go in these because i've got them in every shape and size imaginable in here um, oh that, look at that one plate 34 that's nice yeah that's the one so they they were just perfect timing those freebies for me i know why i sat and cut them out now <laughs> it wasn't just for the pure pleasure of sitting fussy cutting Okay, so another one that can have more added should it need it, but is, you know, good enough. Good enough for use. Right, what have we created them? Because I have a feeling we might be out of time. I will sit and finish those two, and um, you might see them in the picture. But for now, we have created a nice large journal card, a an envelope that has got a bit of stenciling in it, look. And it is ready to go in a signature. A 
time card pocket. Oh, we was going to find something to put in there as well, wasn't we? I'll find a tag for it as well. A time card tag short, a time card tag longer, and that beautiful bird journal card stroke tag. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed um, just playing, really, and just watching me play, I should say. Um, I shall carry on for a little bit while the film uploads and then yeah I'll go off and do a little bit of housework and spend some time with the cat. I hope you have a lovely Sunday and I will see you all soon. Bye for now.